and welcome to the Business Spotlight. I'm your host, Patrick Dewar. We have, well, we have a really exceptional show today in that it's a new beginning for us. It's 2013, the beginning of 2013, and we thought we'd add some extreme value. The show has gone to a, a weekly format. Each week it'll show up about the same time, and then it'll also show up on other forms of media, YouTube and almost every other uh, video channel that you could imagine that's out there. And we're going to be bringing on guests that will always add value to you as the, the viewer. I imagine that most of the people that will be attracted to this show will be business owners or mid-level managers or somebody that would have a decision-making capacity within their company because they're going to be uh, information brought that will help them. And the guests each week will be special individuals that have uh, something to bring to you, the audience, that's either a skill, a service, something of that nature that they're doing what I'll call best practices. Something in the, in the nature of uh, maybe it's an author or speaker or it's a business owner, a founder, chairman of some co a corporation that we bring on here to let them tell their story and then let them also gain some information, some good information, some instruction from some of the other specialists that I'll call on the show to be an aid, to be a help. You're going to really enjoy today because we're going to talk to one of the co-creators of the new version of the Business Spotlight. And uh, my first guest, if I can call him that, is actually one of the executive producers of the show. Luis Estrada has been in the movie industry, in the media, for like 30 years. He's done everything from, as he likes to say, from uh, Top Gun to Naked Gun and everything in between. But even beyond that, he's also worked as a, a producer, a writer. He's created his own films. He has, I, I know, just recently finished a, 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 t a video, a TV show or movie that he created both in English and Spanish simultaneously. I was really excited to hear that. Unique, special talent. And uh, I know that he's also worked for companies that, well, some of you might recognize as, uh, well, Ted Turner's company and he opened and, and ran so much of Latin America for uh, the uh, TNT network uh, and then there's several other companies and I'll let him begin to, to, to illustrate those and talk about those. So first off, Luis, thanks so much for being on the show. Well, thank you for having me. Now, you have been in this industry forever uh, and, and <laughs> Sorry. Okay, you're a really old man. Time, man. Now, they <laughs> Sorry, let me take my pills. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you have you have worked on so many different projects, but you've also worked with some of the biggest names in the industry. I think you said at one point you were third down from Ted Turner at some point and so tell me a little bit about your path and you know. Well, it's uh uh, a little bit about the path. I'm originally from Los Angeles, California, so if you're in this business, you're, you're surrounded by it. Um, also, uh, you know, started off in the you know, radio business, um, then got into, you know, a small production company, have worked for uh, faith-based programs as well um, for different channels, and then got lucky and, and uh, uh, was able to land a staff job at Paramount Pictures. And that's where the Naked Gun to, I mean, the Top Gun to Naked Gun comes in everything in between. But back then, we used to make, you know, about 12, 13 pictures a year, where now maybe one or two is what they make, because uh, back then, Paramount still made pictures that were maybe six or seven million dollars. Well, now you couldn't, you know, <laughs> you don't even start talking at that point. Of course, Paramount makes pictures that are 200 million dollars now. That's the reduction in production. Um, but then I went out to uh, Hispanic uh, business, which is uh, the Telemundo station in Los Angeles. Uh, I did corporate videos for the gas company, uh, just a variety of different things. Um, created a few uh, uh, pilots for television that fortunately didn't make it, but we did create them and pitched them. Um, and then I uh, was lucky enough to go to the USIA, United States Information Agency, and work with them. And then the opportunity came up to open Latin America for uh, Turner Broadcasting. So I was head of creative services for all of Latin America, 30, 32 countries. 
um, in three languages, English, Spanish, and Portuguese. Uh, and so we launched TNT, we branded them as well, and we branded uh, Cartoon Network, launched Cartoon Network, and helped launch uh, CNN in Espanol. And then off to Hollywood again, I went home and I worked with a company called Freeland Jacobs. I headed up their Latin America division. But Freeland Jacobs, are, we were the agency of record for CBS News, we worked for ABC, we worked for Fox, Universal, pretty much all the big guys, we did a lot of promotion for them. And then, um, you know, then back uh, to Univision, back in, to, to that area, then uh, here to Texas, which uh, brought me to Hispanic Television Network, and then on to other things. I worked with a novella with Fremantle, and you know, on and on. So, and y you're right. Uh, during all this time, I was doing private projects, documentaries, um, motion pictures, uh, corporate videos, and anything you can think well, of. Well, that's how we basically connected. I mean, one of the yeah. things that was really neat is that that. When, when we first started talking about the business spotlight and taking it to another, another level, uh, a guest on the show basically gets a marketing machine. Uh, we take the show, we market it out on 30 different uh, video sites beyond the local DFW area, which is a wonderful area. So the thing that you want to do is realize that a guest to sit uh, at the table here gives a tremendously powerful tool for you for years to come. Last I checked, we have over 40,000 video links, and when we come back, we're going to be talking further of ways that we can help you on the Business Spotlight. We'll be right back.